Hello, this is Serge from Freight Broker Training. Today I would like to tell you about what is the perfect time to start your freight broker business. Did you know about it before? I'm going to share with you some principles that will enable you to thrive in the face of economics ups and downs. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and press the bell to watch them first. First of all, this is our podcast. I'm really a fan of them because you can do two things at the same time. And remember, the information you need and go about your business. Over the past few years, we have gone through many financial and economic problems. The economy was doing very well and then COVID. Now we have inflation and we have some other issues that are causing a little economic downturn. You have a question. When is the best time to start your freight broker or cargo agency business? During an economic boom, things move quickly in the trucking industry. You notice that you have a lot of cargo, but you cannot find trucks because all the excess cargo reduces the capacity. If you don't have a lot of cargo, this drives up your rates and makes it difficult for you to find trucks. But what happens if there is an economic downturn? The recessive volume of freight traffic is decreasing, but the availability of trucks is increasing. So there is capacity in the market. And so, we sorted out the problems in the occurrence of both situations. They are unique and different challenges for any economy. The point is, there is no perfect time to start your freight brokerage business. The bottom line is this. You need to be able to adapt to any changes in the economy, then you will succeed. When you have been in business for 10 or 20 years, you will find that the economy is very cyclical. It's going up, it's going down. You will have to learn to be prepared for such situations and deal with them. First, always look for the best talent. But you have to balance this with not trying to grow too fast or hire the wrong person. Hiring a non-functional worker or trying to grow too fast can even stunt your growth. Talent is what really allows you to grow. But you should understand that during an economic boom, it is very difficult to find it because most of this talent has already been employed during the recession that we are in right now. When the economy is down, that's when it becomes more available. Therefore, now is a great time to hire employees. They will be the key to your success. Second and most famous, niche wealth is in them. Don't try to be everything to everyone. Realize that you cannot be good at everything. It is better to become an expert in something than just an all-rounder in all sorts of areas. If you are going to focus on whatever niche you are looking to get into, become an expert. By occupying a niche, you can inflate your worth. People like to talk to people who know their stuff. But this does not mean that you will forever remain in this niche. When you reach the ideal in one, you can begin to develop in another. Third, get close to your customers and your main carriers. You have to understand that as a freight broker, you do have a couple of clients. One customer is your shipper and the person who is your carrier. Because you can get all the supplies in the world, but without trucks, you won't go anywhere. So you have to be close to your main carriers, and these are the things that you need to focus on in order to become a partner, and not just another freight broker fixated on trucks. All things considered, equal treatment is more important than ability. It's hard to teach people to be kind. Some people will grow faster, some slower. Now abilities are a set of skills or experience that you have. If you hire experienced people, you will have to pay more. You should understand that you are trying to find people with successful experience, not just experience. If you focus on this, it will go a long way in making sure you get the right person. Market will rise. Always be on the lookout for niche talent. Become an expert, not a generalist. Keep track of what is relevant now and adapt to it. Important to know the way you communicate with the client and inform him about something. If the shipper is looking for a lower rate, if they want more competitive rate, the more competitive you will be. Communication with these clients is really the key to setting high expectations. It's something that will really help you run your business and more importantly, keep your business running long term. It would be nice to take any course taught by someone who has already built a significant and successful freight forwarding company. This person must have a good track record and have a real history and experience in doing so. In conclusion, I want to say that everything is in your hands. 
A business can fall, it can grow up, it can open up new development paths, or it can stand still. In work and study, decisive action is always needed. Be prepared that the stars will not always be able to converge the way you want. With each challenge or fate, you become more experienced and better adapt to the changes around you. As you have already understood, there is no ideal time to start a brokerage business or become a broker or agent. It all depends on you and your skills and the combination of factors that we have listed. All this will help to develop and become successful in this area. That's all. Do not forget to watch our previous videos, because there you can find a lot of interesting things for yourself. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so as not to miss and be the first to watch our new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.